So uh, it figures that by the laws of random probability that uh, the day that I would choose to come out to Yuwari again to get some footage, test the pack out um, a little bit more. Uh, I was thinking about practicing fire making skills. Mm, doggo. Doggo's everywhere. Um, people everywhere. That this would be the day that they're holding some kind of special event. Uh, as I pulled up into the the very full now dirt parking lot, uh, dude with a cool white Ford Ranger pulled up next to me, and I just said like, "What's the event?" And the guy's like, "The 20 mile." Yuari run. Now, I've been thinking about using the Yuari Trail, which is 20 miles long, as a, um, uh, a means of testing out a forced march. Um, a cool lady I know actually gave me a uh, spare, she had a spare weighted vest, and I'd like to, I'd like to do that. Um, I need to find a way to simulate, that's going to simulate the, the weight of gear that would usually be on like a H harness or your you know, your molly vest, and um, wear a backpack, and I need something to simulate the weight of a rifle. Somebody has suggested either carrying your rifle, which would be legal, I think, in this national park, or, um, or like a, a heavy pry bar. But anyway, we're going to see how this turns out, because it's a lovely day, and a lot of people have turned out, and I'm feeling like I'm not going to get much privacy, so... This might just be a day for me to kind of work off some of the excess fat. Haven't been able to get out hiking as much. Just to different reasons. Um, monetary and time. And I've been hitting the gym regularly, but I've been focusing way more on lift. than I have cardio. And as a result, I've gained weight. Because I've been told that to lift without eating is relatively pointless. I'm up to 170. I would love to believe that's muscle, but something within me tells me that that is fat. I've literally not been this heavy since when I was like a raging alcoholic uh, during one of the times where I took a hiatus from YouTube. I don't feel like my face looks as bad as it did back then. Um, I went back and watched some of my old vids just to see, you know, to compare, but I, I don't know. So, on either way, uh, I'm on the Dutchman's Creek Trail right now. I've been on this before, but I've never done the full length of it. It is 11 miles. I have done a 12-mile ruck through here on Uwari and the Kiawe, and I posted that video. That was the one where it started to rain and lightning, thunder and lightning. Very, very frightening me. Wow. I mean, it's all dead, but I don't know. It's nice. It's something. I just like trees, okay? They make me feel good. You should go outside too. Trees will make you feel good. Camera's sideways because you're balanced on a tree that got snapped in half totally. Anyway, uh, well, it's noon. I have no idea how far in we are on the trail. Run into a couple backpackers so far, so I keep on checking my, checking my six because I don't want to look like I'm just out here talking to nobody. Could consult my map. Okay. Woo! Wait, this doesn't loop. It terminates like four miles from where I need to be. So it's gonna make me do 16 miles? Bro, I don't know if I can do that. Uses six miles of Dutchman Trail. And then you loop back onto Yuwari and head south. Then I think I've done this before, in which case, did I do 11 miles? So it's getting about, about noon. It's still winter, so the sun's doing that peekaboo crap. It's at an angle, but um, I'm getting some getting some exertion going, and I'm starting to sweat a little bit. And uh, one of the things that uh, I've been doing some research on, like I said, is how to stay you know cool and dry while I'm hiking in the winter. And one of the recommendations was to, if you start to do strenuous work, take off your outer layer, which, Okay, that seems really inconvenient, but might as well. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, and now it feels really cold. I was comfortable for a minute. Alright, well we're gonna 
I'm gonna probably eat like a granola bar and get back to it. I just wanted to see how easily I could pack this in with my water. This is wool and not neoprene. Pretty compact when it folds up, but yeah, you know what? I know that I can. that is. See, just trying to put some extra clothing in there. And if I had had a bigger bag, well, so my choices are find something that's warmer, more compact, or, well, but hey. It seems like taking off the outer layer may have been a good decision. I can't believe I didn't remember I was on this trail. Um, there's a, a point that we just passed by. Um, I made a video about it a while back, so you can, it's like URI Adventures 2 or 3 maybe, um, where it literally just kind of goes straight up. Um, so I worked up a pretty good sweat doing that. <clears throat> so I guess taking that off the outer layer was a good idea. You know, the one thing I regret not bringing was my fuzz hat. I wore the wrong shoes today. Huh. I'm getting wet shoes, aren't I? Hmm. Well, uh, may have made another miscalculation as per usual. I realized I don't have a flashlight. And I decided to go on the 11 mile stretch, which Cuts back from uh, Dutchman's Tr Creek Trail loops up. Dutchman Creek Trail connects to Uwari, five miles back to camp. Yeah, well, it's 2 p.m. I feel like I've got about two hours of good sunlight, maybe an hour after that of bad sunlight. Or twilight. And I realize I have a flashlight. I really don't feel like spending the night here. <laughs> Well, anyway, I can't be far from the five mile marker. I can probably make it five miles in uh, two hours. Shit. All right, came up on a weird little plateau. For the most part, this park is pretty generic, but every so often there's um, jumps in elevation that keep it kind of interesting. Really nice if you're a trail runner. No. No. It's a place that literally... You worry, Trail? Okay. Hang on, we need to reconnoiter. As per usual, Creepy Fire Pit is a great place to stop. Nice, I missed it completely and did the whole trail. Nice. <laughs> well, shit, dog. Great. Getting home's gonna be a pain in the ass. Okay. So, as it turns out, I was correct, and uh, I completely. I'll have to show you on the map. Um, I completely overshot. My, uh, my trajectory, and I ended up hiking the full 11 miles of that trail. I think that's how that works. Um, and so basically the fastest way back to where I left my car is to take one of the uh, truck roads. You know, that is not an official trail. It's just a gravel path that cars use to get in and out of camp areas. Um, so it's four miles back. Uh, I can handle four miles in two hours. That I can do. 
How do you land now? Come on now.